Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQ of SCPM. Our attempt is to cover everything that is there in SCPM, everything. We have already done all the MCQs from the module. Every little thing with explanation, with concepts, freely available on YouTube for everybody. Now, our attempt is to finish off all the questions from the Board of Studies portal. Now, these are most likely questions that should be coming in exams. All our students are performing great when it comes to SCPM. But let me just remind you that whether you score 50 or 60 or 70, it does not appear in your final mark sheet. So it is okay to be getting 50 also. And one small advice, try to appear for SCPM the moment you start with your CA final. So therefore, one burden is completely off your mind. In case somebody is interested in enrolling for a complete course of SCPM, you can have the link below. You have the link in the description. You can enroll for that. It is an automated procedure. The moment you enroll, automatically the lecture start. There is no need for you to be calling us for any reason. Automatically lecture start, duration and everything is mentioned in the description below. Okay, let's start it off. Which of the following is not part of operations activity of Porter's value chain? Now, this is chapter number one, whereby value chain is something that is most important. Now, Porter's value chain had told that manufacturing companies have five primary activities. These are inbound logistics. These are operations. These are outbound logistics. These are uh, marketing and sales. And finally, you all have after sales service. So they are asking you which one of the following is not part of operations. Operations means core manufacturing. OK, so out of the four activities, you have to identify which one is not a part of operations activity. OK, please bring me the four options. So the first option is machining. Machining means goods are getting produced. OK, it's through machines. So therefore, that activity is called as machining. Second one, equipment maintenance. You maintain the equipment, so therefore it runs properly. Okay, then the third one, that is assembly. Assembly means part of the products are scattered. Workers come, assembles and makes a final product. That is assembly. Then fourth one is order processing and scheduling. Now, once your goods are getting produced, once your goods are completely produced, they have to be dispatched to the consumer. This is order processing, whereby the billing and all these things are done. And then you all have scheduling. Scheduling means you try to think of the time when the goods will be getting dispatched to the consumer and at what time he will be getting them. Like, you know, you have to be arranging the transport, the logistics for the delivery of the goods. Like, you know, if you purchase anything on Amazon or Flipkart, you do get a message, right? That your goods are scheduled to be delivered at this particular day. That is nothing but order processing and scheduling. Now, out of the four, first, second and third obviously are part of core operations. Core operations means manufacturing. But the last one is not part of the manufacturing. Goods are already manufactured. Now you are trying to process the order and schedule them. This is part of outbound logistics. That's the third activity that is there. So, correct answer should be the last one. But I'm reading the description. Order processing and scheduling is part of outbound logistics. The others relate to the activities that transform input into output. That is nothing but operations. Okay. So, therefore, correct answer should be fourth over here. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'll see you all further. For your reference, this is the QR code for all the MCQs of CA final from the module. Scan to view them. Thank you guys. Take care. See you all next time. Bye.